Today's video was brought to you by Newton Said. They'll buy your device for a very nice price. Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic here today, and I'm going to be showing you um, how to d restore your device if you're on Ace Band 06.15. Um, I've had a couple of requests where people have attended, up, attempted to upgrade to 4.3 for the beta for your iPhone 3G S. Um, the iPhone 3G is no longer supported along with the iPod Touch 2Gs. Um, so, um, they've attended up to late update to iPhone 3GS, and they have failed. They get about 80% of the way, and then you get error 1015, or error 21, and you attempt to reboot, and you're stuck in a boot loop. And the issue is, is that your actual 4.3 is on your device, but you didn't update fully, and you're stuck in a constant boot loop. Um, and you're going to be able to downgrade, but some of the time... Um, like 50 or 60 percent of the time, you'll get error 21 when trying to downgrade, and you basically are stuck with a device that's going to be stuck in a boot loop. Well, today I'm going to show you how to take your device out of the boot loop, and um, yeah, so you're going to need a couple programs. You're going to need a pwnage tool. Um, I'm running on 3.1.3, and I like 3.1.3 in the iPad, the iPod, iPhone. The battery on this isn't great, and the multitasking really kills it, so it doesn't have multitasking, so it's fine for me, because I don't actually use the multitasking feature that much. And 3.1.3 is fine, because all the apps I use run seamlessly on 3.1.3. So I'm going to be restoring the 3.1.3, but um, you can, and I'm going to be using Punish Tool 3.1.5, but for whatever uh, firmware you want to restore, so say you want to restore uh, your 3GS to 4.1, you're going to want to get Punish Tool um Pwnage tool. Um, I don't know what pwnage tool. I'll figure that out in a second. I can't remember. I think it's 4.1.3. Um, yeah, I think it's 4.1.3 Unlock Edition. Um, you're going to want to get that. So um, the, the instructions will be in the description. And um, basically what you're going to do is create a custom firmware. But I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. And um, the only other program you're going to want is Red Snow to put it, um, Red Snow 0.9.6 B6. Because you're going to want to put it into um, DFU mode. Um, Pwn DFU mode, and this is currently only for Mac. Um, Windows users um, use Snowbreeze and use iRep, um, but I might make a tutorial, I might not, depending on if I get a lot of requests or not. So um, I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to download, um, well, I'm going to put the device into the, the situation that it's in because right now, as you can see, it's running seamlessly. But I'll come back when it's done doing that, and I will continue. All right, hey guys, so this is the area that you're going to you probably have gotten the iPhone. My iPhone cannot be restored every 1015, and then you get stuck at a screen like this. Well, I have a very simple fix for you. You're going to want to close your iTunes. All right, close iTunes. And remember when I told you earlier that when you downloaded Red Snow 0.9.6b to 6? You're going to want to open up that. Where is it? Uh, my downloads. Right here. Gonna do Red Snow, and I assume that you've downloaded 4.2.1. If you haven't, you're gonna need to download it and hit next. <clears throat> and now you're gonna hit just entered Pwn DFU. Hit next, hit next, and follow the on screen instructions. Alright, hey guys, so your device should look like that. Blank screen, nothing on it. It looks like DFU mode except it's pwned. You're going to want to open up your iTunes now. And we're going to go over, it's going to say, found an iTunes and recovery, and iPhone and recovery. Then option restore. And at this point, you're going to select your your custom IPS, your IPSW. So double click. Firmware. And where is it? Right here, iPhone 3GS, and for the sake of the video, I'm gonna just downgrade. I'm just gonna do 3.1.3. So actually, mine is on my desktop. 3.1.3, select it, and as you can see, it's gonna extract the software. Um, but you can do 4.1, 4.2, 4.0, 3.1.3, 3.1.2, anything that you really want to do, you can do. 
And as you can see, it's now doing it on the iPod. Um, and I just, while we're waiting, I just want to do a quick shout out to Newton Inside. Um, if you guys don't know what they are, we'll quick talk about them for a second. They will buy your old iPhones, iPads, or iPod Touches for a very reasonable price. This iPhone they sent me, iPhone 3GS. Um, they also sent me the iPhone 3G. So there you guys go. The iPhone 3G and the iPhone 3GS both sent to me, and they both sent me these cases. Um, what they do is they will go on the website, lutonsaid.com, um, and you sell out information as accurate as possible, and they will then give you the money for what you say your device is worth. Um, this device was worth $250, and I gave the guy 250 for it, and it's very generous, I think, because, I mean, it's in good condition, but you can see there's some screen blemishes, and in the back, it's all dented. Not dented, it's all cuffed, though, but, I mean, I'm not saying... So thank you very much for Newton Said. I'm saying thank you very much, Newton Said. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, go check them out. Any device you have, any Mac product, it's, uh, the website is Newton Said, a place for fallen apples. Um, go check them out. Um, I actually do a t full link to talk to the tutorial about them, and a link will be in the description for the video. Um, if it's not, don't uh, apologize. I might forget. So guys, I will come back when it's done restoring the firmware, and I will then just show you the finalizing steps. For jailbreaking, because it's um this is jailbroken, but in some cases you might not have a jailbroken 3.1.3 or 4.2.1, depending on if you have made it yourself or you download off a torrent. All right, hey guys. So as you can see, I now have it running on 3.1.3. Um, this is my iPhone 3GS. Um, I wasn't going to show you how to do get the unlock. But I figured as mine as well, if you're running on 3.1.3, it will be the pretty much the same for anything you're running. So wait for it to connect to the wireless. Um, this is obviously if you're going to be unlocked. Um, if you're not unlocked, if you have the extra at and card laying around, it doesn't matter which one of the SIM card that is, you can just um, put it in to here. I'm assuming you're relying on unlock. Or what if you have like a, a, a good, I don't know how to say it, a legal SIM card, just put it in here even if it's not activated and it will, will just activate iTunes. But if you don't, what you're going to want to do, and this will be in the description, you're going to want to click activate the phone so it will activate it. But as you can see, I got no SIM. I have my AT&T SIM card here. But I also have an old 3G iPhone that came, iPhone 3G SIM card that came with the phone when Newton had sent it to me. So I just use that to activate the phone if I forget to hit activate. Okay, so what you guys are going to want to do is wait for it to load. Point you're gonna see iPhone 3GS saying upgrade essentials. So you're gonna hit complete upgrade, confirm. And if you guys already know how to do this, or if you don't rely on an unlock, but for whatever reason you updated your baseband by accident, just you don't have to watch this. But this is just for people that rely on unlock and they don't know how to do it, or are confused or nervous. I'm just gonna show you. Um, it's gonna end it. It's not gonna reload. It's happened before. It's very simple how you get past this. Just power device off. I'll keep holding the home and power button until it turns back on. Or just let go. Get the Apple screen. And I'll come back when it's done. And I'll show you the final step on how to put your T-Mobile or whatever sim you rely on in your iPhone. Alright, hey guys, so at this point, you're going to get, it turns back on for iPhone 3GS, 3G, pretty much the same thing, iPhone 4, you won't get the world and you won't be able to downgrade to 3.1.3, or whatever you're running on. But, hit OK, and just to show you guys it is a 3G, in case there's any doubt, is we got the compass right there. You're going to hit Cydia, and it's going to say 7, but in fact, it's already installed everything. So, now you're going to want to go over it. The city is all loaded. You're going to go to manage. You're going to go to sources. And you're going to go down to repo. Ultra snow. Install. Confirm. Take your T-Mobile SIM card. And that's upside down. And your SIM card slot. Just put it on my Mac so you can see it. And where is it? There it is right there. Right? No. Sorry, guys. Oh, there it is right here. 
fit it in, hit OK. And now instead of saying no SIM at the top, it's searching. Got the SIM card at the top kind of sticking out like so. We're going to put the SIM card in. We're going to hit OK and we're going to spring the springboard. Alright, so it says no SIM card installed. Obviously there is. If you get that message, take your paper clip or whatever you use. Pop it out. Pop it in. Go over to settings. Obviously it's changed now. Turn on airplane mode. Count to 3 Mississippi. 1 Mississippi. 2 Mississippi. 3 Mississippi. Take your SIM card poker. Plug it back in. Doesn't have to be exactly 3 Mississippi. 1 Mississippi. 2 Mississippi. 3 Mississippi. 4. 5 seconds. Put it back in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slide. Airplane mode. It's going to start searching. You're going to get no service for a while because it's going to activate it. But eventually, depends on where you are, it will activate your iPhone. So guys, um, I'm going to pause the video. Come back when it's done activating. And just to show you guys. Alright, hey guys. So I got the iPhone 3GS here. And as you can see, you now have a message that says iPhone is activated and T-Mobile the top. So we'll slide to unlock. Carrier, so you can see that. Carrier is T-Mobile. And guys, that's pretty much how you do it. Now you can go to City and you can have fun and do all the stuff you want. Um, so for Apple Fanatic, this is me saying peace and go check out Newton's head.